Let's try that same example function now in Python code. So up here we have our normal imports. Here is where we define the function. And again, we're simply using x minus 1.5 squared plus 0 0.5. Now within this function, we're going to go ahead and print what the value is when we get called. It just is a little bit uh, handier so that we can see what exactly is going on. But you don't have to have that, of course. And then we return y. Now, this is going to be the function that we're going to ask SciPy, or in particular, the optimizer, uh, to minimize for us. And by the way, we've included this uh, optimize package as SPO, so SciPy.optimize as SPO. This is our call now to the optimizer, or the minimizer. Before we call it, we first set our guess value to be 2.0, um, and we're using the function minimize, so we call spo.minimize. F, that's our function here, so we're saying minimizer, please minimize, find the minimum for this function. X guess is our guess. Method is we're, we're, we're directing minimize to use a particular minimizing algorithm. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, a little bit later, but uh, this is one of those particular algorithms that happens to work pretty nicely. We send it um, one more option here, uh, disp, which is true, which means we just want it to uh, be verbose about things that it discovers. Anyways, that's it. That calls the minimizer. Uh, the minimizer repeatedly calls our function and finds the minimum value. Then it prints, prints out those results. Let's try a test run and see what happens. Remember in our function that we wanted to minimize, we explicitly printed uh, x and y. So here you can see each time it gets called, it prints these values out. And so the minimizer is repeatedly calling that function f, and it's printing these things out. So it gets called initially with an x of 2, and it discovers that the value is 0.75. Then a, a value slightly greater than 2, a value slightly less than 2, and the minimizer very quickly converges on uh, 1.5 as the answer. And here it prints out those values, finds the minima at 1.5 with a value of 0.5 there. So pretty efficient and effective discovery of the minimization. I added a few more lines of code here, which I'll highlight merely to plot the answer. So all the rest of the code is the same, but uh, let's take a look now if we plot it as well. So same result as before, but nice plot with our minima identified right here. So that is how to code up a minimizer. It's really very easy and really powerful. Let's look at it a little bit further.